Hey friendlies, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. I'm doing things a little bit different today because uh, my videos are about showing you my life and for the past week this has been my life <laughs> sitting in front of my computer at a campground, a couple campgrounds. So uh, I did a um, live chat last night for some of my patrons where I shared way too much. I think I got way too personal. <laughs> That's what I do when you get me gabbing, um, get a little personal and start sharing stuff. And um, anyway, th that's not why I'm making this video. Uh, the point is I did this uh, webcam thing last night on the live chat with some of my patrons. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. So I can just turn on the camera and just start talking to you guys. So uh, I'm doing this. I want to give you an update because a lot of you, you know, I, I, don't, I don't fully, I think, grasp the how invested you guys are in my videos sometimes and when I do a video saying I have a surprise coming I'm working on it I have 40 hours of footage to put together to bring you this surprise I don't realize that um that maybe I didn't communicate like enough that it's going to take a while for this surprise video series to come out um I said it's time sensitive I said it would be in time for Halloween I am working my butt off. I mean, seriously, all I'm doing is editing videos. Uh, yeah. Um, I have a, and so far I have four videos. It might be five. And so the surprise is a place that I visited. For those of you who are dying to know and the suspense is killing you, I visited a really cool place. It's got a lot of history. It's got some mystery. It's got some murder. <laughs> um, I mean, it's just got a little bit of everything. And I had so much fun there talking to so many people. And this video series, if, if you've seen the Slab City uh, videos, it's going to be similar in that I really had to cut it up into pieces because I have over an hour of footage. Um, well, I have over an hour right now of video. Uh, and that's a lot of editing. It's a lot of editing. Um, I don't know if you can see. I am really tired. Uh, I did do a little bit of driving today. And I've had to kind of go, jump around from campground to campground because Internet's been really challenging and um frankly i i and i is that the camera this is weird um yeah okay i'm looking at the screen hi and i'm not going to edit this i'm sick of editing so i wanted to get something up for you today but i um just wanted to do this update and um i forgot what i was saying oh i'm moving around and i'm paying 33 dollars for this campground i mean i'm getting kind of sick of that but west virginia is really challenging for finding places to camp with internet and enough sun and all of those things that you've heard me talk about. So I just wanted to update you on that. I have four video drafts done and I'm hoping to have them done by Saturday. Um, literally, I'm getting up at seven o'clock in the morning, sitting down at the computer, taking a break to go for a walk during the twice during the day and and on the computer until 10 o'clock at night when I go to bed. I'm, I'm just I'm desperate to get these videos done because I'm up against uh, the I'm up against it. They're time sensitive because I want to get them to you before Halloween because they're kind of ghoulish too. They're fun. You're going to love them. So that's my update for you about the uh, about the surprise video that's coming up. I think you're really going to like it and I'm just I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, so at the same time, since this is just going to be a short video update, uh, I thought it would also be a good idea. I was going through my emails to answer a couple viewer questions since I'm kind of doing this format and I've got the computer right in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and read a couple of viewer questions that I get, uh, because, you know, I get the same questions all the time in this, uh oh, can you see me? And this one question that I uh, get constantly, I, I do want to address. So a lot of you keep asking me, um, because I'm vegan, if I am, what do I eat, how do I cook, and am I going to do cooking videos? Uh, so I want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, I have said this a bunch of times, and I'll probably need to say it a bunch more, and that's okay. <laughs> um, I have a full kitchen. I have a stove, I have an oven, I even have a microwave that I never use, and a freezer and a refrigerator. And I don't cook any different than I do when I lived in a sticks and bricks. So um, I'm not going to do cooking videos. Uh, you know, I might once in a while here and there, but I, I told you before that that doesn't excite me. Um, I don't want to do cooking videos. Um, my kitchen's small, it's old, it's funky, and I really just d don't really feel like showing that <laughs> okay um 
but uh and what do i eat i've covered that before oh i guess one of the questions i got is do i cook inside or outside um i'm vegan i mean i suppose i could grill barbecue on the open grill <laughs> But, uh, and I do actually bake, uh, I was talking to my patrons last night on the live chat. I do bake tofu now and throw some barbecue sauce on it. It's pretty good. But no, I do not cook outside ever. I always cook inside. It would be kind of nice, like some of the van setups I was looking at that have the outdoor kitchen. Uh, it would get me outside a little bit more. That would be nice. Uh, and when I'm not um, slaving over my computer, uh, it, I do take the time. To die, and I need to do this anyway. I need to start taking more breaks. Uh, make my dinner, shut off the computer, go sit outside. And right now I've got a lake in front of me. It's really pretty. So, uh, so no, I'm probably not ever going to do cooking videos. I said in another video, I have a couple of go-to cookbooks um, that I use for vegan recipes. One is Oh, She Glows and the other is Clean, Clean Food by Sarah Walters, I think. Uh, and I talked about those before. Okay, uh, and another question I got from a patron last night in our live chat, Shirley, that I'm not really sure I have talked about much, is how do I get rid of my garbage? And it's a really good question. Um, what I really, what I do is I put them in, I put all my garbage in grocery shopping, plastic grocery shopping bags. To me, that's how I recycle them. Uh, and uh, I, because um, my friend Bob taught me, you don't want to put them in a big you know, giant garbage bag because it's a lot harder to get rid of. So my all my garbage goes in individual little store grocery bags. I tie them up. And when I go into town, I get rid of them either, uh, you know, in the garbage cans at stores or gas stations or um, on the on the south. south. So we'll talk about that in a minute. In the south, uh, it's been a lot easier to find dumpsters. Uh, a lot of the places in the west, they all have locks on them. But if I'm shopping at Safeway or out here Kroger's, if I'm in there spending 60 bucks, I don't really feel guilty about throwing a couple sacks of garbage in their dumpster. So I'll do that too. Once, you know, I don't have fires very often. And, but if I do, then I'll go ahead and I'll burn some of my garbage. Um, yeah, and, and somebody asked, how do I store it if I'm boondocking for two weeks? And yeah, that's a challenge, especially in the warmer weather. I can't leave it outside at night because of critters. I don't want to attract bears. It's dangerous for bears. You know, I, 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 I believe in leave no trace. I don't throw my scraps out for animals. I believe animals should fend for the, themselves or they get reliant on human food. And it also, if they start associating uh, humans with food, then things become more dangerous for both animals and us. So no, I do not throw my scraps out the door. Everything goes in the garbage. Uh, so yeah, with all the vegetables and stuff, sometimes I do um, have some smelly garbage. What I do at night is I just, I, I uh, store it all the way up in the driver's seat floor and I'll put it up there and I'll close the curtains. And I, I don't usually smell it. Every once in a while I, I will smell it. And I think actually, and I was at the store today and I forgot one of the things I think I want to do next is get an airtight container that I can store it in. Or maybe even a giant Ziploc. I don't know if that would be enough, but like a tote that's airtight so that um, if I need to store garbage for a couple of weeks, it won't smell so bad. So that's how I get rid of garbage, I think, or, or a lot of here on um, in the South, uh, I've been staying at campgrounds so much that I'll just save it up. And when I go to a campground or a lot of dump stations usually have garbages, too. So if I'm dumping my tanks or getting water, I can usually dump my garbage. Uh, it seems like, like in Arizona and Nevada and California, it was much more of an issue than it is here. Uh and I have to tell you, West Virginia so far is, is the cleanest state I think I have been in. All of the national forests that I have been in, the campgrounds, West Virginians are very clean. So it's really cool, really clean. Um, I've been very impressed by that. And, uh, you know, and I want to talk about uh, another, it's not so much a question as a uh, rep, 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 I get reprimanded, rep, reprimandation. I don't know what that word is, but I get reprimanded constantly. You're not in the South. Or you're not in the East Coast, you're in the South. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. I've been living in California for the last 30 years. <laughs> to me, anything west of the, anything east of the Mississippi is the East Coast. I mean, I'm just, that's just how I talk. And I just, you know, 
the things people choose to get offended over. You know, <laughs> we've got famine and starvation and inequality and uh, global warming and, um, you know, war and ISIS and, and people choose to get offended <laughs> over whether I call Kentucky the South or the East Coast. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I just keep it's East to me, I, I, you know, living on the left coast. Living on the west coast of everything out here is east. I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to get better at that. Uh, so anyway, that is my update. Answering a couple of questions for you as well. I am um, just, I'm staying put. I'm not even moving except, you know, I, I drove an hour today because I was just getting bored and I was like, okay, I just want to change the scenery. Actually, you know what I did? I took today off. And that was what I did to um, kind of rest is I just drove to a new location, did a little sightseeing, um, visited a um, kind of a little tourist trap. So that was kind of fun. But it, it got me out, got me just away from the computer, uh, which I really needed. Actually, I think this is the first time I've turned on the computer today. Um, but tonight I'm back to editing. I have to get these videos done. Oh, uh, the last thing is I'm going to post them all at the exact all at the same time. So that's something different um, because I'm actually behind on videos because I've been spending so much time on this series that I'm not editing all the Kentucky videos that I still have coming for you. A lot of cool Kentucky stuff. So I'm just going to drop uh, all four or five of those videos in a playlist at the same uh, at the same time or within a few minutes of each other. So be prepared for that. Oh, I'm hoping Friday or Saturday, be prepared to spend an hour binge watching those videos. <laughs> and I hope you like them as much as I um, enjoyed being there and the experience and making the videos. Okay, I hope that clears up some questions for you. And, uh, you know, as usual, just thank you for being here with me. And thank you for all the support and kindness. Uh, you mean the world to me and it just means a lot like I always say so thank you for being here and until next time I will see you soon I promise I will I will the surprise will be revealed soon and so I'll see you next time and in the meantime be happy be free and be kind see you soon